jour de différence Dans toute une existence Ça n'a pas d'importance Semble-t-il et pourtant Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and today's tutorial is going to be on this romantic burgundy makeup. It's not winter just yet, so I'm still playing with warm colors. Because burgundy is a very bold color, I toned it down by using soft edges for this look. If you want to see how I did that, just keep watching. First, I'm going to be using a brow pencil to draw fake hair. I'm using a spoolie to brush out the product to make the brows appear softer. Next, I'm using concealer to help even out my brows. I'm using a cotton butt to blend the concealer. I use cotton butts instead of brushes for this step because I'm trying to remove the excess product, not blend it in. Since I'm using darker shadows today, I don't need to cover up the veins on my eyelids, so I'm using a translucent eyeshadow primer. I'm setting that with a translucent powder. For the transition shade, I'm using this warm brown eyeshadow. I'm using a brown shimmer shadow stick to create an eyeliner effect and then I'm going to blend it upwards. I did get eyelash extensions done a few weeks ago, so I haven't been wearing eyeliner, and I love this method of lining my eyes. The lashes have started falling out and looked kind of strange, so I actually cut them, which is not a good idea, but if you're wondering why they look weird in this video, that's why. Next, I'm using a burgundy eyeshadow on the outer corner of my eyelid and blending inwards. Using the same brush, I'm using a shimmery copper shade on the inner corner. I'm blending out the edge of my eyeshadow lightly with a cotton bud so I can clean it up without leaving a harsh line. For the face, I'm using a cushion foundation. This is the M Magic Cushion in Honey Beige. Based on my past experience with Korean cushion foundations, their shades are usually really light, so I got one of the darker ones. It ended up being way too yellow for me, which is a first, but I tried to make it work because I really liked the finish. To conceal and highlight, I'm using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in shade Fair 5. I'm setting those areas with translucent powder. You can see the rest of my face is still dewy, but the center of my face is matte. Going back to the eyes, I'm using the burgundy shade on the inner portion of my bottom lash line. On the outer portion of my bottom lash line, I'm using the copper shade. Next, I'm lining the outer corner of my bottom waterline. This will close up the outer portion of the eyes and open up the inner portion, making my eyes appear more lifted. To contour, I'm using Crony by Pony Effect. I'm going in pretty heavy with blush all over my cheeks and up to my temples. Now I'm contouring my nose. I couldn't decide on a lipstick, so I ended up using a bunch of different products mixed together, but I'll show you each one. This first shade is Magnificent by Pony Effect. I messed up so I cleaned it up with concealer, but it's not too big a deal since the lips will be a sort of gradient anyway. Next, I'm using Perry's Ink the Velvet in Celeb Deep Rose. It was also more vibrant than I wanted, but I used it to create a base shape by smudging out the edges. I've 
been really into the whole messy lipstick look and Style Manda's mood recipe lipstick photos, so that's the sort of look I'm going for here. Using the M Cosmetics Infinite Lip Clouds in Vintage Rosewood and Crimson Red, I'm darkening the center of my lips. The lips were still more vibrant than I wanted, so I decided to go in with Spanish Earth from M Cosmetics, which created the perfect shade. Now I'm using a cotton butt to really blur out the edges. This will make the lips appear bigger and softer. Finally, I'm setting everything in place with the ColourPop Amber Crystal Setting Spray. Now for hair, I posted a picture with these faux bangs on Snapchat and Insta stories, and so many of you thought they were real. But actually, I made them out of extensions, and I followed a trick that YouTuber Hazel showed on her channel, so I'll link it down below, so make sure to watch her video on it for a better explanation. First, I'm sectioning an area of my hair back. This is where I'm going to clip the faux bangs. When I clip them in, I turn them into a U shape around the hair that I sectioned back. So when I release the sectioned hair, it falls over the band of the extensions to cover them. And ta-da, you're done! I also tucked my hair into my shirt. I really love doing this when it gets colder, especially with turtlenecks. I think it looks so cozy and effortlessly cute. It's totally optional, but I'm adding a few beauty marks to add more personality to this look. And this is the completed look. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you liked me, remember to follow me on all of my social media, which will be linked in the description box down below. And I will see you in my next video. Some other girl won't